Welcome to Lavanya's Computer Classes. Tomorrow I have uh, PPS or uh, C programming uh, program C programming for engineers and uh, C PDS C programming and data structures. Whatever it is, it is totally computer science paper for all the sections. So now I will tell you what is the question paper pattern for R22 because it is after COVID pattern uh, pa examination paper pattern is changed for this academic year. So I will tell you what is the question paper pattern and also how to get good score in computer science paper. So first question paper this is the uh, entire paper will be divided into two parts one is the internal examination second one is the external examination. For internal examination uh, total marks is uh, 40 marks and for external the examination marks is for 60 marks so totally 100. So in 40 <coughs> In 40 marks, we have to get uh, 14 marks for internal, we have to get minimum 14 marks for pass and for external we have to 21, you have to get 21 marks, then only we have to pass it. So totally 35 marks for 100, 35 marks is the pass percentage marks. So in internal I will get 40 out of 40, in the external only. Uh, below 21 means it is not considered as pass. You have to get the marks, 14 marks in internal, 21 marks is in external is compulsory. Okay, concentrate on that one. Next one is the entire external examination will be divided into two sections. One is the part A, second one is the part B. Part B is short answer questions, only one mark question. So, totally 10 questions are there. Right, ans answer all the question, there is no choice. We have to attempt all the 10 questions. Each question carries 1 marks. So, 1 into 10, 10 marks. In these 10 marks, we have totally 5 units are there. 5 units. So, in the part A, from each unit, from each unit, 1 question, 2 questions are coming. So, 5 into 2, 5 into 2, 10 marks. Each question carries 1 mark, so 10 into 1, 10 marks. So, from this each every unit compulsory content 2 to questions, okay. Next part B, in the part B internal choice is there, internal choice means this is the entire thing is part A is first question, part B is from question number 2 to question number 6, totally 5 questions, each question carries 10 marks, so 5 into 10. 50 marks are there. So, here internal choice is there, internal choice means second question, second question 2A or 2B, it is divided into sub parts, 2A, 2B, 2A is 2B is from unit 1, then third question, so part B, part B questions are second question, second, third, 4th, 5th, 6th, it may be 2A or 2B, 3A or 3B, 4A or 4B, 5A or 5B, 60A or 5, 6th B. 2A or 2B questions are coming from unit 1, third, third question is coming from unit 2, fourth question is from unit 3. 5th question is from unit 4, 5th question is from unit 5. So, unit 1 here also either this or this both questions are coming from unit 1. So, select any one question from unit 1 internal choice. So, here one question we have to write one question, one question 1 into 10 is 10 marks. So, totally 5 into 10, 50 marks. So, if you read one unit, unit 1 means the unit 1 two questions, two questions, short answer questions, short answer questions are two and one is the long answer question. So, totally we can read three questions from each unit and how many marks means two into one, two marks plus ten into one, ten marks, totally twelve marks are coming from each unit, twelve marks. So, 5 into 12, 60 marks. So, read all the questions carefully, read chapter wise also. 
in the section A or section B means either chapter 1 or chapter 2 read questions are coming. So, do not leave any unit read all the units carefully then only we get good score ok. So, this is the question paper pattern then how to get good score in PPS, PPS or C programming or CPDS whatever it is read all the questions carefully. How we are reading the questions means first one is in the C language introductions are there in this check your syllabus according to that we read. I will come and tell that questions if it is algorithms are there means algorithms, flow chart, pseudo code. This is everything is considered as one type of the questions are coming then C language, data types, operators, expression evaluation. In these questions one question is compulsory coming then conditional statements, conditional statements means if and switch, if if has nested if or switch multi conditional statements then read about loop statements, loop statement means for loop, while loop, do while loop, then functions functions are two types of functions one is user defined function and built in function. Built in functions again mathematical functions, string functions, user defined means how to develop user how to create user defined syntax and some programs. Then files, files are simple topics, files are what are the modes of files, types of files how to create and run a, how to create and read and write the information from the file, read and write and there are two important programs are there, copy the content of one file into another file, one is the merging the file, read all these questions carefully. Then I already said so many times these are the very very important questions, read these questions carefully, storage classes typecasting, command line arguments, command line arguments, dynamic memory allocation, dynamic memory allocation, fifth question is enum enumerated data type these are the very very important questions so 1 2 3 4 5 so read all these questions after that structures and unions <laughs> structures unions difference between structures and unions and write one program for structures and one program for union those are also very important question and last unit is searching sorting. Searching is linear searching and binary search, sorting is three different types of sortings are there. For civil students data structures are there, stacks, what is stack, what is queue very very important and linked list, read these three, what is stack, applications of stack, what is queue, applications of queues, what are the, ins how to insert and how to delete the operations from the stack, how to delete and how to insert the elements from the into the queue and what is linked list types of linked list these are the very very important questions read all these questions and pointers also either it is a cpps or it is a c programming for inter engineers or it is a cpds read all these questions then we get good score all the best write well thank you for watching my video if you like this video Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.